What's up, guys? This is everything we sold Wednesday and Thursday. Triumph CD. I know we sold this Foreigner CD. Let's do this one first. We sold this Foreigner CD. I've been telling you guys about these Target CDs. Here's another Target CD. We paid 50 cents for this at Peddler's Junction. And we sold this one for $18.99 just because it's that Pilot or Target CD. Make sure you keep, keep an eye out for those Target CDs. Triumph, I don't think that's a Target CD, no. But it is, it is one of the uh, smooth case. That means it's one of the first print prints of that CD. So that's the reason it sold and it was so expensive. Uh, we paid 50 cents for this at Peddler's Junction and we sold it for $13.99. One of the female superheroes. We're running low on those, but we had 50 cents a piece in these. We sold this for $11.29. Xbox One NASCAR game. Let's see. There we go. Ooh. We paid $2.50 for that at Family Video. And we sold it for $16.99. Extra large. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, Emmett Smith jersey. Uh, we paid like $5.99 for this, I think, and we sold it for $44.99. My chauffeur it is a four-pack. Uh, I knew this one was going to be an, an expensive one because I've had some of these movies before in the individual packs, and they're out of print, so they're hard to find. So we sold this used copy for $30. Bucks. We took a best offer. I think we did have a $36.99 on it, but... Took an offer for 30 bucks. We paid a dollar for it at a pawn shop. Young Justice League PS3. All right, we have a couple of these. We bought these for $2.99 when family video was going out of business. Actually, $2.50. We got them two for five bucks. We sold this one for $11.23. Sold. Here's my 80s Nike tees. I got a bunch of those still left. But we sold that bag sitting in there. It's a camera bag. It's called a 360 bag. You can spin, you can pull one thing out and spin it all the way around your waist and make it kind of a, a sack in front of you, holding your camera and stuff. They're really nice. They go for, they go for about $300, I think, new. I found this one at a thrift store. You Actually, it was new, but I found it for uh, $9.99. So we ended up selling it for $159.99 today. Took me about a year to sell it, but we finally sold it. What's up, guys? This is everything we sold this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Horses of Nature DVD. We just listed this last night, so uh, it sold pretty quick. We just listed the Blu-ray a little bit ago, so hopefully that will sell us quick. We got $9.99 for this. It was brand new. Uh, we picked this up at the flea market this weekend for $2. Ugly Coyote. see it. No, it's Coyote Ugly. <laughs> I wrote it down wrong. No wonder I didn't see it. That was pretty stupid. Alright, Coyote Ugly. It was new. We picked it up at a pawn shop for a buck and we sold it for $13.99. Laser Disc Thief. Oh, there's a record. I'm always one off on these ones of mine. Oh, there we go, right on top. We paid 99 cents for that. We sold it for $13.99. Skylar Diggins. She was a Notre Dame basketball player, I think. I think she won the national championship with Notre Dame with them. I think she was the best player on the team at the time, probably. All right, we filmed both of them. These were both signed 11 by 14s. They both were PSA DNA. We ended up getting $38.99 for the pair. Had somebody offered me like 20 bucks for them and I turned them down and somebody ended up giving me full price for them. So don't always take the first offer that you get because a lot of times when that offer gets sent and then you, de you, you deny it or you wait on it or something, it actually moves your product into the, you know, like into the search engine more. 
it gets seen by more people. It's like kind of like if people are showing interest in it, so they push it up to the top. So a lot of times I'll get, when I deny claims, I'll get people pay full price like within seconds of denying a claim. So like I said, I ended up waiting it out and got full price for this one. I ended up paying, I bought these on eBay. I was telling you guys about those auctions. I picked these up at the auction and I got them for like five bucks a piece. It's called Hiding Place. Here we go. I believe it's about Nazi Germany. We picked that up for at a pawn shop for a dollar. We sold it for $11.99. One of my favorite actors is Jamie Kennedy. I used to love the Jamie Kennedy experiment. That was such a good show. That guy's hilarious. And uh, I always forget he was in Scream, but we sold a Scream autograph of him today. Hopefully it's in there. Yeah, there we go. This is the one, I believe. Yep, we sold that picture from Scream. I think we paid $5 for it, and we sold it for $19.99. DVD called Rock of Revelation. I don't even remember having this DVD. Sometimes when you have so many DVDs, you kind of forget what you have. I'm not seeing it either. It was another problem where I couldn't read my writing. It was Book of Revelations, not Rock of Regula Revelations. I still don't remember it, but there it is. It helps if you could read your own writing. If you can't read your own writing, you're in trouble in this business. I believe this is one I got at the Dollar Tree. I paid a dollar for it. It was brand new. And we sold it for $9.99. Their 8x10 photo. This is actually my favorite movie of all time. Let's see. I know where it is. Could be in this. Yeah. My favorite movie of all time is Willy Wonka. I love Willy Wonka. And this girl played Veruca Salt. We sold this photo here. We paid $6 for it, and we sold it for $19.99 shipped. Two pack of... What do you call it? There we go, I bet it's those right there. Two pack of Made in USA Fruit of a Loom. These are just, these are just blank t-shirts, guys. They're uh, Made in USA, single stitch. We sold these for, uh, what was it, I think like $40, $39.99. We got $20 a piece for these. So don't go, don't miss out on these uh, blank t-shirts, dude. They get over like 20 bucks a piece. In-laws DVD. Here we go, it was a double DVD. Uh, it was brand, no, it was used. Bought it for a dollar at a pawn shop. We sold it for $14.99. Sold a Jimmy Walker. Dynamite! You guys might remember him. I love me some... Uh, some JJ from Good Times, I believe it was. I watched that when I was a kid. He usually writes dynamite on him. Not sure if he did online or not. Hopefully, you know what? I don't think it's in here. I think it's in my series thing. Here's actually one I don't have for sale. This is uh, Vernon Wells from Weird Science. And we asked him to do a video for us. It's actually on our YouTube channel if you look for it. And uh, he signed this for me. It says, all right, Larry. I'll do your effing, or no, your film promo. Put the gun down. There we go. <laughs> but he was a cool guy, man. I love Vernon Wells. He was also in The Road Warrior. All right, here is our Jimmy Walker autograph from Good Times. He was JJ. And uh, we bought this for $3, and we sold it for $13.99. We sold an Affliction shirt. I can't remember where I put it. To tell you the truth, I can't remember what kind of shirt it was. I can't remember if it was 
this kind of shirt. Or a button up. It was a polo shirt, but no, I think it's right here. It's a button up. I think it's this one. All right, this is it. I ended up getting $22 for this. I, I had $30 on it. I took an offer for $22. McDonald's t-shirt. There's an old crew shirt from like 94 or something. I've got two crates here of old t-shirts. So I'm not sure which one it will be in. The other box. Let's see if it's in here. We can only hope. I don't think I have another. Isn't it always like the last like three or four shirts that we pull out? So this is a McDonald's 1994 crew shirt. I don't think it had ever been worn. And for some reason, like the old McDonald's shirts are now are getting traction. They're, they're starting to be worth a lot of money for some reason. A lot of people are collecting them, I think. It was cool. It had like some, fun, some summer fun on the back of it. And good colors. But anyway, we bought this for $1.99 at the thrift store and we sold it for $39.99 took us about a year to sell but we finally got our 40 bucks for it well we sold a uh, West Virginia shirt I'm hoping it's in here somewhere I can't remember where I put it I got so many of those you know old shirts oh, I'll put it in here These are the blank ones. Only thing about selling shirts is they take up a lot of room and are hard to find sometimes. I need to get a, you know, one of those systems where it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now these are all six things filled with West Virginia. Well, five of them are West Virginia shirts. And then up here, there's some uh, sweatshirts. All this came from that vintage lot that i bought so i'm hoping it's in here let's find sure. out we sold it was a wvu defeats penn state 17 to 14 1984 but those are the mediums over here is i pulled out i pulled out the small over here so this is the one i sold basically i bought 450 shorts shirts for 150 bucks so whatever that works out to was that a quarter a piece or 20 18 cents a piece i don't know but we paid a, what, 20 cents a piece for them and uh, we sold this one for $59.99. Sold another one of those Walk in the Woods Blu-rays. Holy cow. Looks like this is my last one. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. I've, I've sold, what, six of these in the past few weeks? I only got $9.99 for it, but still, I'll take that. Here's DVD. With honors, it was brand new. That came out at Dollar well, it was, 50, it was 75 DVDs for $50. 50 of them were sealed. Uh, got $9.99 for it. Heck with a bunny. This is one I never get in, so it must be pretty rare. It's got Seth Green in it. I really like him. And Eugene Levy. I like both of them. But anyway, this was used. We bought it at a pawn shop for a dollar. We sold it for $13.99. Dan Henderson autographs. I'm almost out of these. I actually looked online to see if he died or something because I've been selling these things so fast. But he's still alive. Well, sold my last one of the belt photo. He's one of my favorite fighters. I really hate that I sold all these so fast, but I probably should have grabbed one out for myself. Here's one of the nicest photos. Um, we paid $2.99 for it and we sold it for $14.99. It's either $14.99 or $15.23, somewhere in there. We took a best offer, I think. We sold a Tommy Wildfire Rich. It was like a 12 by. 18 or something 1981 I think I paid five dollars for this and I sold it for 20 24.99